I just had to make one more video. Um, in my second to last video I did previously at the beginning of the week, I had an extra queen and I removed a medium off of this colony here with some brood and all the workers that were in it and I put it on a uh, a bottom board with a screen. I'll show you that in a minute. But, but the point I'm getting at, in just a few days, this was inside this many, this many dead bees. I'm starting to realize, well, I already know my frames are toxic. All the crop farmers in the area spraying constant chemicals. It gets in my hives. And when you close up your hive, like do something like vinyl farm, you close up your hive and make it airtight. They don't get any fresh air. All those toxic chemicals are in that hive. It makes it worse for the bees. So you can't compare how your beekeeping is going to go with somebody else. Maybe, maybe Vinyl Farm doesn't have any crop farmers. In fact, I know he probably doesn't have any crop farmers. Vermont's not a big crime or farming state. So you people that are going to follow somebody like that, a moron, you're going to end up losing your bees. So let me show you this real quick. Okay, I bring in small colonies, protect them from the cold. We had a couple nights in the 20s overnight. And the smaller the colony, the more likely they're going to get frozen. And this is how I ventilate them. The heat would come off through this hole, but there's no fresh air coming up through the bottom of it. And I'm starting to realize that my bees are dying from the toxic chemicals even when they're inside because they're airtight and they close up the doors. They're not getting any fresh air. So again, Vinyl Farm, you're just getting lucky, okay? You don't know what the hell you're doing. And then I had somebody leave me a message on, on my phone about a fondant recipe. You guys don't get it. What is it you guys don't get? Okay, I'm trying to tell you that my bees are dying from the toxic chemicals. Because I'm surrounded by crop farmers. Maybe you don't have those issues, but I do. And I created a lot of small colonies, 120 small colonies last summer. I lost some before winter. But anyway, the small colonies I can't leave out all winter long up here in Michigan. They wouldn't make it. With the toxic chemicals killing them, I bring them inside. But it doesn't stop them from dying. It keeps them safe from the cold, but they still die, okay? Anyway. Why is it, when I put a video on about the environment and toxic chemicals killing your bees, nobody wants to watch it. But if I put something on about money or this or that, you know, I see a lot of videos about beekeeping. So the fuck what, all right? You guys have got to wake up. The toxic chemicals are killing your bees. You can, do, you can be the best beekeeper in the world to know how to do splits and know how to reinstall a queen and know how to pull out frames and this and that. But your bees will die from the chemicals, all right? You guys just don't get it. I don't know what else to do. That's why I've given up on you. I'm, I'm tired of trying to explain it to you, all right? I'm not going to lose my bees because I know what's going on. I'm going to have losses, yes. But I'm still going to have enough bees to continue every year. I'm hoping that society falls apart and there's no more crop farmers spraying these chemicals. There's no more oil stuff to run their tractors. I can go back to a horse and buggy or husky sled team and have bees right here and sell honey to people or trade honey locally to, to people around the area for things I need, okay? You guys, we're destroying our planet and the bees are trying to tell you that and you're not listening to it, okay?